Hello everyone, uh, myself Shiva Kumar K, Assistant Professor from the Department of Civil Engineering, BITM Ballari. And today I will going to discuss with you that is the rate analysis of a plain cement concrete. Uh, that is 1 is to 3 is to 6 for the plinth here. So uh, in last class we were discussing about the size stone masonry. After the construction of size stone masonry we may go for the plinth. Uh, plinth may be constructed sometimes it may be constructed by using the uh, stones or sometimes it may be constructed by using the concrete. So here uh, today we will want to calculate the rate on this for the plinth uh, that is proportion is 1 is to 3 to 6 here and he has given uh, quantity is around 10 meter cube here. Uh, if, uh, so it means we should calculate the materials and labors for the 10 meter cube of work here. So and as we know that uh, for 10 meter cube of work uh, in concrete for 10 meter cube of work so we make it around 15.4 drive volume. So that I will that we had already discussed in the previous class that is how we get uh, this 15.4. So that we calculated by considering the 1 meter cube of uh, cube here. Then uh, this is the 15.4 is the dry volume of concrete. You should remember here for 10 meter cube for 10 meter cube of work we required 15.4 is the dry volume of concrete. Therefore uh, by using this dry volume we should calculate the cement sand and aggregate here. First, I will uh, calculate the cement and uh, that is 15.4 divided by the total proportion. The total proportion here we have that is 1 is to 3 is to 6. So 1 plus 3 plus 6 we make it around 10 here. So 15.4 divided by 10 I got the total volume of cement is equals to 1.54. That is it is in meter cube but here we require number of bags here. So 1.54 divided by the 0 0.0347 where 0.0347 is the volume of one bag of cement here. Then after dividing, after divide, uh, dividing the this value, we got the total number of bags is around 44. 44 number of bags are required for 10 meter cube of work here. Then sand here, yeah, sand uh, then uh, the volume of cement equals to 1.54 into 3. Then we got the sand is 4.62 meter cube. Similarly, aggregate 1.54 into 6, the proportion is 6 here for aggregate, then I got 9.24 meter cube here. So, similarly, uh, we have to draw the same tabular column here, mm, then with the help of the tabular column, you can calculate the uh, rate of materials and the rate of the different types of labors here. So, first, uh, you prepare a tabular column like this, that is serial number, particulars, quantity, rate and amount. And in that first I will consider the materials and as you know that for uh, plain cement concrete for the plinth we have materials cement sand and aggregate first I will consider the sand uh, that is stone here yeah, stone is nothing but aggregate then I got the quantities around 9.24 okay, and for the present rate for the 1 meter cube of aggregate is around 1300 rupees so I, I multiplied 9.24 into 1300 then I got the total amount is 12,000 12 rupees. Similarly, sand is 4.62 and for uh, present rate of sand is around 1900 meter cube per meter cube is 1900 and then 4.62 1900 then I got the total amount is 8 uh, 8778 and for obviously for cement is uh, we got uh, the quantities around 44 bags and for that 44 bag that uh, we should multiply it around 325 rupees per bag that is average rate here. Then after multiplying this average then then uh, we got the total amount is 14,300 rupees here. This is all about the materials. Then we want the labors and here you should remember the labors here. So other RS you should go for the labor task and there you should remember the different types of labors required for the different items of work here. Okay, and for PCC as for the labor task we uh, uh, here we have uh, admission is around 1 by 4 per day and whereas mason is uh, 2 and half per day and mazdoor is around 80 numbers per day and bisti is 2 numbers and coolie around 10 numbers. Coolie is nothing but helpers here. Okay, na? Uh, and here uh, these are the different types of labors uh, we required for the uh, uh, plain cement concrete work here uh, that is for 10 meter cube. Then the rate of these type of labors here per day they may get around for mastery you may get around 500 rupees per day and whereas mason you may get around 450 rupees per day uh, here we have 450 rupees so you may get around 450 rupees per day and whereas for uh, mazdoor you may get around uh, 400 rupees per day and uh, uh, whereas for 
Best EMA get around 250 rupees per day and cool is around 350 rupees per day. Then after multiplying these rates into the labors, different types of labors per day, then they may get around, uh, uh, for masonry may get around, for 10 meter cube work, you may get around 125 rupees, whereas mason, 2.5 into 450, you may get around 1,125. Similarly for masjuri is 7,200, that is 18 into 400, we may, uh, we may get around 7,200. Uh, this is 2 into 250 then it is 500 then coolies around 10 numbers then 10 into 350 then you got uh, 3500 rupees then uh, the tools and plants and sundaris is nothing but contogenous that is miscellaneous items of work that is tools and plants and quantity will be lump sum here and uh, rate will be 250 rupees uh, that is lump sum and that will be you have to put 250 rupees then after this uh, we should add the total amount of materials and labor uh, this is the mat uh, total amount of the materials and this is the total amount of labor and after adding all these total number of metals and labor then we got around uh, 47,790 this is the total amount of labor and material for this total amount I have to add 1% of water charges here after adding 1% of water charge I got around four, uh, 477.9 rupees then I added uh, 47,790 uh, plus 477.9 uh, then I got the total amount around 48,267 rupees and then for this I added 10% of a uh, contract of profit and overhead then the uh, then I got is around 4,826 so this will be added to the this amount that is 48,267 plus 4,000 uh, 826.79 then the grand total what we got here 53,094 rupees here this is about this is the this is the total amount for the 10 meter cube of work but so here we should calculate it, the amount for the per what will be the amount for per meter cube this is the 53,000 is for the 10 meter cube of work but what is the cost per meter cube the cost per meter cube is around 5310 rupees per meter cube it cost will be around 5310 rupees okay, so this is all about the plain cement concrete okay so then we, we shall move on to the uh, that is the next year that is the uh, superstructure uh, in uh, uh, in superstructure first we should uh, we should calculate the rate analysis for the uh, brick work here. Uh, that is a uh, uh, brick work here. Uh, while constructing the brickwork, the quantity of materials and uh, sorry, the quantity quality of uh, uh, bricks and mortars are required, and also we should find out the quantity of uh, bricks and mortar that has to be worked out for the one meter cube. As we know that when the uh, size of the brick will be different, then automatically the mortar and uh, requirement of bricks also will be different. And here uh, we don't know the what will the dry mortar here um, for the brickwork here that we should calculate it and also uh, we don't know the how many number of bricks are required per meter cube. We don't know the how many number of bricks are required per meter cube that we should calculate it here. So uh, by uh, by considering the one wall here, uh, the, the uh, take an example here, uh, the wall will be uh, that is one and a half inch wall that is around 30 centimeter thick wall here and the length of this wall is around 20 cent, uh, 20 meter and whereas the height is around 5 meter so here i have taken on the example of the wall here the length of the wall is around 20 meter thickness is around 30.3 meter and whereas height is 5 meter then i calculated the what is the volume of this wall then volume of this wall is equals to that is volume will be calculated as the length into breadth into height so length is 20 breadth is 0.3 height is 3 then i got the total volume is around 30 meter cube here so this is the total volume of this wall and as well normally if the mortar joint that is the joint between the two bricks is less than one centimeter that will be i will take outside here then the actual wall thickness is 30 minus one centimeter that means the thickness of the uh, sorry the joint in uh, joints between the two bricks uh, it is almost less than one centimeter then uh, i will take around uh, the average length, average overall length will be around one centimeter then actual uh, volume of the wall is around uh, sorry uh, uh, the actual thickness of the wall is around 29 centimeter then actual volume is equals to 
20 uh, that is length again length is 20 and uh, thickness is around 29 centimeter that is uh, 0.29 meter and height is 5 meter then it will be around 29 meter cube here uh, this is the actual volume here uh, then uh, uh, as you know that the standard brick size uh, that is 20 into 10 into 10 centimeter this is the standard brick size here then uh, number of bricks required for the 29 meter cube of uh, 29 meter cube so I mean number of bricks that we required for constructing uh, 29 meter cube volume here so that is uh, it will be calculated by volume divided by the size of the brick the volume divided by size of the bricks the actual volume is around 29 and the size uh, standard size of the brick is around 0 0.2 into 0 0.1 into 1 that is uh, that is I, I have converted into meter here then I got around uh, 14,500 number of bricks are required in order to construct the 29 meter cube of volume this is uh, 29 meter cube of volume therefore what will the number of bricks per meter cube in order to calculate the per meter cube what will the number of bricks here so number of bricks per meter cube is equals to 14,500 divided by 30 because here we consider the giants here we should consider the giants giants between the uh, bricks so it means we should consider the motor so 14,500 divided by 30 then we got around per meter cube of work we may get around 484 number of bricks remember per meter cube of work we may get around 484 number of bricks in that we should consider the 5 percent extra that is wastage of bricks uh, sometimes we break the bridges uh, bricks no uh, in order to fill the joints or not to fill the um, uh, some of the gaps so uh, they may we may get around five percent wastage here then five percent uh, then uh, after adding five percent then we got so remember the total number of bricks required per meter cube is around five numbers here remember rs you, uh, you should calculate it like this rs for while in exam you should directly remember per meter cube of work per meter cube of work we got uh, we may get around 500 number of bricks this is for one meter cube and for 10 meter cube so 500 uh, the 10 for 10 meter cube equals to 500 into 10 we got around uh, we got around so for 10 meter uh, for 10 meter cube of work we may get required around 5 uh, 5000 number of bricks here okay, nah? the, then we should calculate uh, then the, that, uh, that is for uh, bricks and now we should calculate the what will the motor here that is a dry volume of motor for the brick work here uh, then here motor calculation the motor required is equals to total volume of brick minus the net volume of the brick uh, here without considering the motor the total volume of that is actual volume brick is equals to 29 minus uh, net volume of brick equals to uh, net volume means uh, that is actual size of the brick is 0.9 into 0 0.0 that is 0.09 into 0 0.09 into 14500 this is net volume of the brick uh, then uh, this is the brick size guys here we have value you know that is actual brick size value here without considering motor uh, 29 minus 0.19 into 0.09 into 0 0.09 into 14500 then we got the dry volume uh, is, uh, that is volume it is around uh, 6.685 uh, uh, meter cube okay now then for this additionally uh, this is a wet volume uh, sorry it's not a dry volume and additionally we have to add 15 percent of filling that is frogs and uh, cut the brick wastage then after adding the 15 percent uh, then uh, the, uh, at the top of the brick there will be some company name will be there no in order to fill that frog we require additional extra motor here so uh, it means we should consider for this around 15 percent then uh, after adding 6.85 uh, 685 plus 15 to 15 divided by 100 into 6 point square but then we got around uh, 7 point uh, meter cube and uh, Additionally, uh, in order to, uh, for the dry volume, if we may we have to multiply it, uh, we have to increase the volume around by 1 by 4th year. Then uh, this is the wet volume is around 7.687. For this, again, I we are increasing 1 by 4th year. So 7.687 plus 1 by 4th into 7.687, then we got around 9.6. Mm, so, okay. so for 30 meter cube of work, uh, the dry volume we required is around 9.6 therefore for 10 meter cube of work here what uh, this is for 30 meter cube of work what we consider the uh, this is 30 meter cube of work okay na? and uh, this is for 30 meter cube of we got around 9.6 uh, therefore for 10 meter cube of work 9.6 into 10 divided by 30 then we got 
around 3.2 meter cube so remember we should remember uh, so it will take lot of time for calculating so directly you remember so dry volume required for the motor uh, for the brick work is around 3.2 year for 10 meter cube of work okay so this is what we calculated the material and then we directly move on to the problems here then first class brick work in cement mortar that is 1 is to 4 in superstructure that is for ground level and uh, here he has given brick size around 20 20 by 10 and here and take uh, mortar uh, that the quantity of uh, work is around uh, take quantity of work is around 10 meter cube uh, then uh, cement sand proportion he has given that is 1 is to 4 okay and we are already calculated the dry volume okay na so dry volume per 10 meter cube of work is 3.2 that what we calculated previously so cement equals to 3.2 divided by total proportion that is 5 then what we got uh, the volume of cement is equal to 0 0.64 therefore number of bags is equals to 0 0.64 divided by 0 0.00 sorry 0 0.0347 and this is the volume of one bag of cement therefore number of bags is around 18 here uh, then uh, sand equals to 0 0.64 into 4 uh, then we got to 2.53 meter cube of meter cube that is the sand here and as the calculator per meter cube we get around 500 500 sorry 500 number of bricks and for 10 meter cube of work we got we may get around 5000 number of bricks and uh, then we should prepare a tabular column like this that is the serial number particular quantities rate and amount here uh, in that i will take the materials uh, materials as we uh, as you know for the a burnt brick masonry we may get around uh, we, uh, we have to consider the bricks and uh, cement mortar here rather than other materials so bricks uh, we got around 5000 year for 10 meter cube of work and uh, rates uh, the present rate for the brick is around 8 rupees uh, per number year then 5000 into 8 then we got around 40000 rupees that is the total amount then sand is 2.56 then the total amount is uh, sorry per meter cube of sand amount is 1900 so 2.56 into 1900 then we got the total amount is uh, 4864 uh, then cement is around uh, 80 number of bags here then for 8 number of bags i multiplied uh, 3.25 18 into 3.25 then i got the total amount is 5850 that is 5850 5, rupees uh, this is all about the material calculation uh, that is a uh, rate for the materials then we move on to the labors Mm, uh, labor that is the mystery as per the labor task here uh, for the labor task we have different types of labors here that is for two point uh, uh, in uh, the uh, bn data textbook uh, he has given the labors uh, task for the 2.8 meter cube of work uh, we may get around uh, uh, for um, mason we may get around 2.25 uh, that is 2.83 meter cube of work uh, we may get around 2.25 uh, mason 4.5 mazdur and of bisti uh, so uh, this is all about the 2.83 but here we have 10 meter cube of work so it means 10 divided by 2.83 we got one factored value that is called 3.53 this 3.53 i have to multiply here so uh, after multiplying that uh, we got the mystery uh, around half number that is 1, 1 by 2 whereas mason is around uh, 8 numbers mazdur is around 16 numbers uh, whereas school is around 10 numbers and bist is 2 numbers uh, better you should remember the labors for the different item of work or else you should calculate it by considering the volume in that is in the as given in b and data textbook he consider only for 2.83 meter cube of work but here you, ha you have 10 meter cube of work so labor will be different so you should calculate or else you should remember the, these labors here okay na? Uh, then uh, we multiplied the rates for different types of labors that is mes mes get around 500 rupees per day whereas mazdu mason is around 450 mazdur is 400 and coolie is around 350 bisti is 250 scaffolding is required no scaffolding uh, is required for construction of the brickwork wall and uh, these around 450 rupees and uh, tools and plants around 250 rupees after multiplying the number of labors and uh, amount then we got this total amount here and uh, now we should uh, here we should add uh, amount of materials and amount of labor after adding the amount of plate materials and amount of labor then we got the total amount of uh, labor and material is around 
65,664 and for this I added 1% of water charge then I got uh, 656.6 then I added these two then I got the total amount is around 66,320.64 for this I added again 10% of the water charge that is 606 uh, sorry 6,632.64 uh, then I added these two then I got the grand total is around 72,950 that is 66,320.64 uh, plus uh, 6,632.064 then I got the total amount grand total is around 72,952.7 this is for 10 meter cube of work so here uh, therefore uh, what will the, what is the cost per meter cube here so 7,000 uh, 72,952.72.7 uh, divided by 10 then we got a uh, rate per meter cube equals to 7,295 uh, rupees this is all about the first class brickwork for the superstructure that is 1 is to uh, 4 proportion uh, similarly uh, same pro uh, uh, same brickwork here but here uh, we have proportion is 1 is to 6 here uh, the procedure will be remain same for calculating the materials and also uh, everything and whereas the labors will be slight different here uh, there we got around 10 numbers but here we got around 9 numbers and whereas Mazdur uh, there we got around 80 numbers and here we got 70 numbers only 2 numbers will be reduces here because the quantity of work will be when the quantity of work reduces uh, based on the number uh, you can see based on the number of bags and uh, based on the um, quantity of uh, uh, cement and sand then uh, automatically uh, labor numbers will be at reduces here then after calculating all this then we got around uh, uh, per meter cube is uh, we got around 7000 uh, sorry 7160 rupees per meter cube here now this is for here the thing is you should remember the uh, different types of labor for uh, the different item of that is for 1 is to 6 proportion we got this much of labors okay and uh, uh, then and then we want the uh, of brick wall here that is a uh, 10 centimeter thick uh, that is partition wall here uh, with proportion is 1 is to 3 and the determinant wall thickness will be 0. Point, that is the brick will be considered as 0. 0.2 into 0. 0.1 then uh, we should calculate the materials here uh, here we should consider the 10 square meter of the work therefore uh, bricks required equals to 10 square meter divided by size of the brick uh, that is volume divided by size it's not a volume that is area divided by total area divided by size of the bricks then total area is 10 square meter divided by size of the brick so we got around uh, 5000 number of bricks here it means per 100 square meter work we may get around 5000 number of bricks and then volume of motor equals to so here we should assume 35 uh, percent of the volume of work here so 35 percent volume of work means uh, 35 divided by 100 into volume of work is around 100 square meter so then uh, mm, uh, 35 divided by 35 divided by 100 into 10 uh, that is 35 divided by 100 into sorry uh, 35 divided by 100 into 100 uh, then we got uh, no meter cube then for this uh, we should multiply the thickness then we got uh, thickness of the partition wall is around 0 0.1 you know so for that uh, here uh, sorry for that year uh, here we should consider 30 percent volume uh, 35 percent volume of work so then 35 divided by 100 the uh, third into 100 that is volume uh, that is total proportion it is in meter cube only uh, sorry square meter only for this we should multiply the um, thickness of the brick uh, that is thickness of the wall here uh, 10 centimeter he has given then we got the volume is uh, 3.5 meter cube due to the all brick work the volume of mortar become uh, less than around 10 percent then uh, uh, mortar due to the uh, all brick wall you know the volume of mortar will be reduced here uh, then Mm, 3.5 uh, minus uh, 10 divided by 100 into 3.5 then we uh, the total dry volume for a brick wall equals to 3.15 then by using this dry volume we can calculate the materials uh, cement equals to 3.15 divided by total proportion then we got 0 0.79 therefore number of bags equals to 0 0.79 divided by 0 0.0347 then number of bags is equals to around 23 numbers and uh, sand equals to 0 0.7 into uh, 3 then we got uh, 3 2.37 then again we should prepare a tabular column like this here uh, serial number particulars quantity rate and amount uh, materials uh, as we have uh, as we know that we have brick sand uh, and uh, cement and bricks per 10 uh, square meter work we got around uh, we get around five uh, five thousand bricks here 
so 5000 to 8 then we got the total amount uh, total amount is around 40000 then sand is 2.37 into 1900 per meter cube then we got around 4503 rupees and cement uh, here we have 23 bags uh, 23 into 325 then we got the total amount is 74000 sorry uh, sorry sorry 7475 rupees okay then uh, uh, then uh, here uh, uh, for uh, partition wall sometimes they may use the uh, mild steel uh, uh, mild steel uh, or under 6 mm dia at every four layers therefore uh, the here we should consider the around 40 kg of uh, steel be required now that every four uh, four meter uh, every four layer they are using the uh, uh, this uh, uh, 6 mm diameter of the steel that is mild steel that is ma steel and uh, rate to be around 50 rupees per kg then 40 k into 50 then you got around 2000 rupees here so, uh, only some rare cases they are using the uh, steel here but uh, some uh, <coughs> there uh, in actual case they will not use only some uh, resemble areas they are using this type of uh, my steel here then we want the labors uh, the admission mason mazur kuli bisti okay and uh, admission is uh, around half numbers and whereas mason is around 12 numbers Mazdur is around 8 numbers, Kuli is 10 number and Bisti is 2 number and uh, scaffolding and uh, tools and plants is uh, um, lump sum. Then uh, 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 multiplying the number of labors into amount then we got uh, this amount, uh, amount of different types of labors. Then after calculating all this amount we then we got the total amount of materials and labor is around uh, 67,528. For this, I added 1% of 40, then I got 675 rupees. Mm, then uh, I added 675 rupees. Then I got the total amount is around 68,185.28. For this, I added 10% of water charge. After adding 10% of water charge, I got uh, 6,818 rupees. And I added these two amount, then I got the grand total is around 75,000. Therefore, rate per meter square equals to uh, cent, uh, per meter square, we may get around uh, 750 rupees. Okay. Uh, thank you.